This episode begins with Gu Wan being stabbed by Guang Cole. At the same time, Du He is still at the police station, being accused of the murder of Qian Suk. Guan Cole pulls out the knife and attempts to stab Gu Wan again, but Bok Ju saves him. He pushes Guan Cole off Gu Wan, and half his mask falls off. Gu Wan is able to see his face as reporters swarm around, taking photos of him bleeding on the ground. At the police station, news of Gu Wan's stabbing reaches Du He. Detective Kyung Su knows that Du He is innocent, but his hands are tied by his bosses. He assures her that she will be released soon since there is no evidence against her. He feels for her and agrees to help her sneak out and visit Gu Wan at the hospital. Sia Kun drives her to the hospital, where she finds Gu Wan recovering from his surgery. The doctor was afraid that Gu Wan wouldn't make it through the night. The doctor had earlier informed the young and Bok Ju that Gu Wan had lost a lot of blood and his heart valves are damaged. Once Du He arrives at the hospital, the young lashes out, blaming her for Gu Wan's condition. Bok Ju drags the young out and allows Du He to stay by Gu Wan's side. Sia Kun notices that Du He gave her hand to Gu Wan and finds it a bit strange. Du He worries she arrived too late as Gu Wan takes time to wake up. Thankfully, his powers help him recover a bit and regain consciousness. He wakes up and starts teasing her. Du He is relieved to have her demon back and gladly embraces him before breaking down. However, Gu Wan is still weak and needs to recharge as much as possible. His powers were not strong enough to heal him completely. After ensuring Gu Wan will survive, Du He sneaks back into the police station. She thanks Sia Kun for helping her and he promises to be there for her. On the other hand, the Arabica woman hints that saving Gu Wan will bring trouble for Du He. Meanwhile, the young comes to terms with the fact that Gu Wan and Du He have a special relationship. Even in his sleep, Gu Wan keeps asking for Du He. Gu Wan keeps having a nightmare about combusting and dying. The following morning, Gu Wan wakes up and bosses Bok Ju around. Gu Wan is anxious about Du He and is glad when she shows up. Thankfully, Du He's arrest warrant was reviewed and dismissed. She heads straight to the hospital to take care of her hubby. She is surprised to find the mafia gang outside Gu Wan's room. They are there to protect their new boss and be cuties while at it. Gu Wan lights up immediately Du He arrives and acts like he is strong and all better. Du He asks him to rest, but he insists on going home, saying she is his best medicine. Who would have thought our handsome demon was this smooth when it came to flirting? But then again, after 200 years of living, he ought to have learned it all. At the office, Du He's workers worry over Gu Wan and start grieving even though he is alive. Fortunately, Da Zheng informs them that he is in a stable condition. They decide to focus on work and show Du He the sudden change in public opinion. After learning that Gu Wan was attacked, the public switched to supporting her. The episode ends as they kiss. And Gu Wan narrates that Du He is his fate and he will stay by her side even if his feelings for her makes him human.